Greetings gentlemen and ladies, old school games now been here and in today's video we're going to be turning your Daz hair into Unreal Engine Groom hair. As you can see it, uh, well, you know, groom hair, it's it's pretty neat. It's got physics and stuff. Um, now I've got mine with quite a bit of quote unquote what I'm calling hairspray and that is actually the bend stiffness. The original setting was 0.1 and as you can see if I put it back to 0.1 the hair actually falls a little bit more uh, more hair like but the problem is this hair that I imported has some crazy bangs I don't know how to style the bangs without the rest of the hair so what I did is I applied a little bit of hairspray the bend stiffness right there there's some other settings that I might tweak around a little bit but for now I think that looks pretty good that looks pretty good I think that's pretty darn nice looking physically uh, physic hair physics hair that conforms around the models shoulders all that sort of stuff like that's cool that's great that Daz groom hair all right so uh here's the here's the source hair that i imported over so it's you know pretty accurate the color material i haven't applied i haven't quite figured that out how to transfer Daz color over so instead i've been applying groom hair material colors of varying colors i mean there's only so many hair colors right so that's not too hard i'll show you how to do that at the end um but uh, yeah, as far as the shape, the curls, everything, it looks great, right? It looks great. It argu arguably, look, arguably looks even better. Well, better than the, than the texture. Anyway, let's get into this. Uh, start by loading your character's hair into your Daz scene. What I'm going to start by doing here is just unparenting, right click and unparenting that hair from my model so I can delete everything else in the scene except for the hair. So I'm going to now go ahead and export that hair. Oops, I better select, got to make sure to select it. Export that hair uh, as a wave front object. Uh, I will call this one, I'll just call this one tutorial, tutorial, tutorial. All right. Uh, now here's the settings you're going to want to use. I've saved mine as a handy little preset. So you can just pause the video here and copy the settings over. Don't forget this little 2% part. Uh, why 2%? I don't know. I learned all of this from another tutorial that was very hard to follow, guys. Uh, it probably took me three hours to complete a five-minute tutorial just because it was so hard to follow. I had to rewind and rewatch it at quarter speed. It was so hard to follow. Anyway, that's why I'm making a new one. Let's go ahead and export that and head on over into Blender. Uh, make sure you're using Blender version 2.9, I believe, or higher, 2.9. X or higher, right? I think you, I think it needs to be that version. I'm not 100% sure. Let's go ahead and now import our wave front object. Um, so I got my tutorial object here. I'm gonna let that import. Man, oh man, the number of times I tried to follow the tutorial, guys. Oh, it was so painful. Uh, anyway, it works. It works well. Finally got it figured out. Bear with me if I'm kind of remembering this. On the spot here so I've got my hair imported uh, what you're gonna to want to start by doing actually is first to go over here to this little TV thing go to cycles and then go to GPU compute don't know why that's just a part of it don't ask why I say you do no questions uh, anyway um, now let's uh, select the hair piece select it there and we'll go over to edit mode Edit mode. All right. Now that we're in edit mode, mood, let's go to the surfaces, uh, materials rather down here. And what I'm going to start by doing is finding my scalp, my scalp sort of material. This might also be called uh, something else, but it's it's basically the scalp that you're looking for. And I'm going to deselect anything that isn't scalp. All right. So now I've only got oh, the scalp selected, as you can see. Uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the P key and go uh, separate by selection. All right, so now that has created a separate uh, thing down here, which is a separate uh, object, which is just the scalp part. Uh, so now go back into object mode and uh, make sure you have your, your separated part, the one that we just made, the one down below. Uh, you can see if you select that one, it's the rest of the... Um, it's the, it's the whole thing that we just separated from and here we select that one it's just the scalp so from the scalp part we're going to want to uh we're going to want to select the, the anything that isn't the scalp you might have a bunch of other things in there if you do that's okay just just minus them all away and just leave the scalp 
All right, so now that we've got only the scalp selected, select both of these, uh, both of these components. I, th I believe you have to select from the, from the, from the scalp to the main hairpiece, not and not the other way around. I think I'm pretty sure that's the way you have to do it. So, so from your from your scalp piece to your main piece. Uh, and you, uh, man, the tutorial I followed just did all of this so fast without any audio. It was so hard to follow. Um, anyway, oh, by the way, we're going to need to install a plugin. Now uh, we're going to need, so I will link this in the description below. This is the plugin that we're going to need. You just need to grab the zip file hair converter 2.1. Uh, in Blender, to install that, you just go to edit preferences, go to add-ons right down here, uh, click install, find the zip file. Uh, it will install and then you'll see basically hair converter up here. Tick it on. Make sure to tick the little tick box and that turns it on. All right, so once you've got that installed, uh, if you're new to Blender like I am, here's where you find some of this stuff. This tiny ass little freaking tab right there. You pull that out. You just click and drag. Like I initially clicked it, right? And I was like, where the hell is all this stuff? Well, you, it just, it was like that. I was like, oh, that's so hard for noobs, man. Anyway, so we have now both of the things. Both, Like I say, we select from the bottom to the top. Right. Make sure your your color looks like that. Right. So bright on the bright yellow on the bottom, orange on the top, and not the other way around. I'm pretty sure you have to do it in that order, but again, not 100% sure. Uh, now go into the hair tab of our little plugin Daz Hair Converter, and click on Convert Hair. Give it a moment. Uh, okay. So now that the hair has been run through the converter, go to this part. Part no, not particle. Yes, particle properties. Uh, click on disconnect hair and then click on connect hair again. I don't know why to do this, but you know, that's the instructions that I was following. I say you do, no questions. Also, go to the render tab and click uncheck show emitter. All right, so I think we're in pretty good shape here. We're almost done. Uh, I am going to now select both of these for export. Do we need to select them both? I'm pretty sure. Okay, go to file export. Um, wait a dear Elamibic and um, we're gonna go scale 100 uh, one to one frames we will go to uh, tick tick uh, untick tick untick tick and that like so and then at the bottom I'm going to untick export particles just have it as export hair and uh, of course we'll need to give this a name let's call this we'll just call this tutorial 2 since my first tutorial attempt failed because i did something wrong so this is the edited version okay back in unreal engine right click import some uh import so import 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 your uh alamebic i even know how to say that tutorial 2 abc file what we're going to do here is we're going to set the rotation to 90 on the x and minus one on the y why i don't know just do <laughs> uh, all right that's it now we've got our groom hair imported there you go looking pretty good pretty nice pretty fine pretty keen um and yeah okay so as far as materials go i don't know i don't know here's what i've been doing for materials in the meantime i picked up uh a content pack of groom hair from the Unreal Engine Marketplace and they have a bunch of materials in there. So what I've been doing is I've just been going to the uh, some of the some of the hairstyle color options in there and I've just been just basically been putting it in <laughs> putting it in like so um, where do we put it in? We put it into was it just the materials part? I think so. Yeah, that was it. All right, so uh, I don't know how to do custom materials. I don't know much about materials. So, like I say, I just uh, I think I, th I think I spent fifty bucks on a hair pack of groom hair, and you know how there's only so many hair colors, right? Blondes and blondes and brunettes and and uh, all sorts of different you know colors, but only so many. So, I mean, unless you're doing some funky stuff like some cyberpunk neon hair stuff, uh, you can probably get away with buying a hair pack and then just you know choosing whatever material suits your purpose. There we go, there's a bit of a nice red one. Um, one other thing I will mention uh, is the a couple of interesting things you can do. Let's say you wanted to, 
I'm going to give you a really brief rundown on what you can do with, with Groom uh, really quickly. So this is a very uh, high vertices, uh, high strands number of, of not, uh, like piece of hair. It seems to load pretty well for me. But uh, one thing I can do is uh, reduce the quality of that if I wanted to. Say I wanted to have it load faster. What I could do is set the curve decimation and the vertex decimation to something like, oh, say, 0.1. And you can see so much of the hair got away because it reduced... Uh, the vertices in that hair piece. But now what I could do is I could go and I could thicken up the strands, right? So now I have thicker pieces of hair. Uh, and if you're run, you know, if, you, if you're doing a game or something like that, you might want to reduce your hair count by a lot and just thicken up the strands. You know, it still look probably good for like game stuff. Uh, so that's just a way to optimize. You know, set your hair width under strands. By the way, I also, you can just put, when I got this, it was kind of like that. And I was like, where the heck are all the tabs? Oh, you just pull them out and here's all your various things. Oh, by the way, we're also going to need to enable the sim physics simulation, right? So now you can see the physics simulation happen. Okay, that's about it for importing. Um, one other thing I will mention uh, for those of you who want to attach this now to your character. I actually have a, I actually have a, um, I actually have a separate thing for how to attach groom hair, another tutorial, so you can check my channel for that. But one, one thing I will say is that this groom hair imports large. And and it also imports um, in the wrong uh, Y axis. It, it, like you, when you attach it to your character, it might be way high or way low and it's going to be like too big. So I ended up um, changing my location. I put it back a little bit on my model. Here's my settings, and you can, if you're using a Daz character, you could probably just get away with the same settings, like 190, minus 195 on the location, and that's just the front back, so I just have it, I think, back a bit, and I scaled it to 0.57 all the way across the board, and that seems to fit pretty good. So just so you guys know, it's gonna be like, when you, when you import it, it'll probably be more like that, right? Like somewhere up there and, and way too big, so you can just kind of manually scale that down to uh, whatever works for you. And I already talked about hairspray, I think at the beginning of the video, if you have really floppy hair and you kind of want to do something with it. So I think that covers it. That's all I know. See you guys later.